69, question number one. Number one. We have question number one here. If two to seven is equivalent to seven two to seven equivalent to x to twenty one. It's meaning two over seven equal x over twenty one. If you want to find the value of x, we know seven product by three equal twenty one, then two times three equal six, then the value of x equal six. Because two times three equal six. Next question number two. If eight over x equivalent one over two then the value of x equal 16 because 1 half of 2 and 8 half of 16 or 2 times 8 divided by 1 2 times 8 16 divided by 1 equals 16 question number 3 is the ratio 7 to 13 is the same ratio to x to 52 we know 13 times 4 equal 52, then 7 times 4 equal 28, means the value of x equal 28. Question number 4. We have 4 over 7 equivalent to x over 35. Then we can find the value of x product by 5 here and here product by 5. 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times or equal 20, then the value of x equal 20. But you won't find x subtract by 3, you can write 20 minus 3 equal 17. The result here will be 17. Question number 5. If the ratio 3 over 4 is equivalent to x over 12, we can find x plus 5 by finding the result of x. We know 4 product by 3 equal 12, then 3 times 3 equal 9, then the value of x equal 9. If you want to find x plus 5, x plus 5 equal, right, x equal 9, plus 5 equal 14. The result here will be 14. x plus 5 equal 14. Question number 6, which ratio equivalent to 95 to 100 we can write what times by 3 30 here we have 285 and 300 we can divide it by 3 numerator and numerator 300 divided by 3 equal 100 and 285 divided by 3 28 divided by 3 equals 7 and the remainder 1 because 3 times 7 no, it's we get as three times eight equal twenty four, three times nine equal twenty seven, three times nine equal twenty seven, and the remainder one. Fifteen divided by three equal five. Then we must choose ninety five or one hundred. Because two hundred eighty five over three hundred we can divide it by three numerator and numerator. Two hundred eighty five divided by three equal ninety five and three hundred divided by three equal one hundred. Uh, the result here will be letter D. Choose letter D's equivalent this number. Next question. Question number five. Okay. Question number seven. Which of the following is ratios not 32 over 64. 32 over 64, we know. 32 and 64, we can divide it by 2. Numerator and numerator, the result will be 16 and 32. And 16 over 32, you can sample it by dividing by 2. It will be 8 over 16. And then you can divide it by 2 again. It will be 4 over 8. And you can divide it by 2. It will be 2 over 4. And then you can divide it by 2. It will be 1 over 2. 
Then position number seven, we must choose what? Now it's position number seven, not equivalent here. 64. No, 18 over 34, right here, 18 over 34. You can sample this fiction. Look at 18 and 34. If we divide it by two, numerator and numerator, because 18 and 34, we can't get even numbers. 18 divided by 2 equals 9, and 34 divided by 2 equals 17. It's not equivalent. Then you must choose 18 over 34. Choose letter B about this example. Make it question. Number 8. Which of the following is not ratios equivalent to over 3? 2 over 3 not equivalent space. We can write first number, letter A, in the simplest form, 4 over 6. If I divide it by 2, it will be 2 over 3. It's true. Letter B, 10 over 15. We can divide it by 5. 10 divided by 5. 2, 15 divided by 5 equal 3. It's true. Which are letter C, 14 over 21. We can divide it by 7. It will be 2 over 3. It's true. But letter D is false. Letter D, we have... Uh, 12 over 16 divided by 4, 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and 16 divided by 4 equals 4. It's not equivalent. You must choose letter D about question 8. Question 9. Which pair choose equivalent ratios? If you want to find uh, the equivalent ratios, you can use the product between extremes and means. If the product of extremes equal product of means, then the result will be equality. Letter E, we have here 13, 18 over 36, and 3 over 6. We can sample it. We ask it about equivalent or not. 3 half of 6 and 18 half of 36. It will be true. Okay, question letter B. 5 to 7, not equivalent 7 to 9. Then you must choose letter B, it's not equivalent. If you want to find which bear choose equivalent ratio. Equivalent ratio, okay, it's uh, false. It's uh, false. You want to find equivalent. Equivalent here, A. Because 18 over 36, 18 half of 36, and 3 half of 6, it's equivalent. You must choose letter A, don't choose letter B or C or D. In this question, question number nine, the result will be letter A. Choose letter A. Question number ten. If one hundred grams of chocolate give three hundred calories, what is the number of calories? which found 30 gram we can find the number here by product 3 times 100 equal 300 so 3 times 30 equal 90 this is the number of calories here it will be 90 choose the letter E about this example next question number 11 Suzanne put 2 kilogram banana 2 kilogram banana for 30 Egyptian lira. How much money does she pay? 6 kilogram. We know 2 product by 3 equals 6, then 3 times 30 equals 90. Or you can find the price of 1 kilogram, 30 divided by 2 equals 1, 30 divided by 2 equals 15, 15 times 6 equals 90. This is the price will be 90. Egyptian lira. Okay, because the price of one kilogram, 30 divided by 2 equals 15. And if you want to pay 6 kilograms, you must find 6 product by 15, then the result will be 90 Egyptian lira. Choose the letter D. Question 11. Do you want to find P plus E on this table? We have to. 5 and 6 and E and D and 25. 
we can find the value of e. 5 times 1, 2 times 3 equals 6, then 3 times 5 equals 15, then the value of e equals 15. And 5 will be 25 multiplied by 5. Then 2 will that by 5 equals 10, then the value of b equals 10. We want to find b plus a, b 10 plus 15 equals 25, and the result will be 25, shows letter b. Okay, it's the last question here.